Solar Bots, a great NFT play to earn game I'm really looking forward to. That's going to be dropping here in the month of December 2021. A little Christmas gift for myself. I'm stacking all the ETH I can. I want to stack as many Solar Bots team as I can, and I'm in this one for the long haul. Let's dive right in. The background is it's three different factions that are thrust into war over resources, grudges, and ideology. You've got the Lacrian Empire, a wealthy theocracy. They're faith-based. You've got Ilskagard, uh, a hyper-industrial republic. They're more of like engineering and honor their word. And Arborea, a massive tree that stretches into the heavens, uh, appears to be a peace-loving, down-to-earth society. I really like uh, all three of them. Very interested to play it. You can read more at solarbots.io into the different factions here. They go very in detail. The creators of this game have taken a lot of time to go into the lore and the economics, and you can really see that when you dig through their white paper and all the information they give on the website. That's got that's what's got me so excited about this game. The Mint is coming this month. Uh, early bonuses. Limited edition Solar Bots MK.1. Unique collection forever. These are the only bots that gain stake in the metaverse governance through total token emittance, special role and access to VIP Discord channel, one mint equals one full hand of solar bots, a full team of one tank, one support, one melee damage dealer, and one range damage dealer, each one at a cost of 0 0.05 Ethereum per solar bot for a total of 0.2 Ethereum for the entire team for the mint. I'm going to try and mint as many of these teams as I possibly can. Oh my god, I pray this is the first NFT game that I get in from the Mint and super really enjoy. Projects, here's the roadmap. Q4 2021 Collection Edition SolarBot Sale. Woo! Q1 2022, right after. First unlocked of the Collection Edition SolarBots. Launch of the SolarBot 0.0.1 Pre-Alpha Combat Test MVP for Collection Edition SolarBots. Capital City and Player Guild housing plot sale. I'm going to have to snag up some housing plots for the LEU. And for myself personally, of course we need a mansion. Q2 2022, community contests and events. Start of backstory and web novels. SolarBots pre-alpha combat test. MVP updates, patches, out of Capital City land sale. So outside of the Capital City, some additional land sale in Q2 of 2022. And then in the back half, Q3 and Q4 of 2022, additional social in-game elements, addition of SolarBots crafting system, adding P&E elements to Eld, starting, start of story-based economic loops and token syncs, production start for manga series based on back and side story events within the plane of Eld. I'm so excited for the second half of next year. We're talking only 12 months to get to all of that. 2023 and onward, release of the SolarBots 1.0, including PvP combat, start production of the anime series, uh, release of asset creation API for community-created player guild housing assets. That's pretty sweet. Land play in 2023, build structures, gather uh, la an, on own land for gathering professions, Farm your land and create an, a, an economy based on the resources yielded from it. That sounds pretty sweet. Build arenas to house PvP and PvE battles. Build an arena on your land. Like you could be known as like the place where everybody goes for like the biggest and best arena where the best battles happen. Uncover a PvE dungeons within your plots and rent them out to adventurers for an admission fee. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. Crafting based on mini land-based minigames. Co-op dungeon and raid battles. Two or four player co-op dungeon raids. Rarest loot drops such as crafting blueprints. Uh, recipes. Extra challenging end game content for the most dedicated theory crafters and hardcore gamers. Let's look at the team and advisors here. And if you know um, Axie Infinity and people that play Axie Infinity and that game and the success it's had, you're going to recognize some of these names here. We at SolarBots are an indie team of individuals who love games and online social spaces. To us, games are not only a means of conveying beautiful concepts and storytelling and making the player live through the experience, they can also be a means of finding new friends and spending time with them in the world you love while offering nail-bitingly exhilarating esports capabilities. We take inspiration from the games that spark the flame of curiosity and wonder within us and aim to bring it to a holistic metaverse experience. This seems so awesome. I'm excited. Join us pilot on this long-term journey and structure and design this world. Founder, Lucas Misotsun. I'm so sorry if I wrecked that. 
a senior engineer team lead with passion for gaming and online communities after years of cultivating a circle of experienced people from all fields from his work on indie games such as Outworlder. It's time to put their combined knowledge into action and creating a new experience. Peter, a voidling, a blockchain enthusiast and successful investor with an engineering degree specializing in electrotonic and computer systems. Peter has worked on brain computer interfaces, 3D printing, machine learning, and a variety of other projects. He spent the last two years in the blockchain space and brings a diverse perspective colored by his technical experience. Wow, that's they're both very impressive. Everybody's pretty impressive on this team. This is also why I'm so interested in it. Artist, Grisus. Grisus is a self-taught artist that dropped his engineering career to dedicate the rest of his life materializing other people's ideas into pixels for a penny. He knew about blockchain years before it wasn't until 2021 when he was fully involved in the NFT world. He doesn't believe in horoscopes, typically Aries, and he has essentially... He has a central tremor. No one knows how he's able to draw probably a pact with the abyss. <laughs> That's pretty fucking hilarious. Kukian is a Venezuelan digital illustrator. He speaks Spanish English and is currently studying Japanese to be able to read manga. Uncensored. She has worked doing commissions since 2013 and for video game companies in the area of character design and HUD. Kukian has tries to, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry if I butchered your, your name to improve every day to make more beautiful things and plan to make a webtoon someday. I love that. I love that. Developers, David Moonshine. David, the software architect's mad con science, bearer of obscure developer, know how on managed languages for mobile, desktop, and web, drinks his coffee as dark as the abyss that lives within. Thomas Ulf, by harnessing the power of engineering, Thomas turns text and numbers into digital magic. He studied the arts of game design and spent the majority of his screen time running the large-scale online communities, developing game mods and plugins. I love these descriptions and how they're customized like towards the game. Working as a software engineer, Huluvu. Working as a software engineer for the better part of the decade, prioritizes performance and efficiency and thrives in new challenges. Love it. Philip Mashuga. Philip is a DevOps. Python and systems architecture person with a knack for breaking down complex relationships and multi-decade experience after various stints in social startups, Phillips offers invaluable knowledge to solar bots. Marketing, Fiasco de Gamma. Fiasco de Gamma has been writing about crypto since 2017 while working for Hypercube. He wrote scripts, white papers, and other marketing materials for clients like Kusama Network alongside many other promising projects. After honing his skills through painful client and agency work, he has helped launch dozens of projects across the DeFi and NFT landscape before deciding to plunge into the abyss. I want to read into these lore masters over here. Who did all this lore? Jess Lauren, a writer and designer for SolarBots. Jess Lauren of the Decade Plus musical project, The Junk Bottle Casino, crawled from the wires, wove them into twitching flesh and untethered viscera. I love it. Phil, with an F. Writer, guitarist, polyglot. International Man of Mystery and Tamer of Madness. I love it. Audio Engineer. Audio Magician. No to? Audio Magician. Sound Designer. DJ Producer of Electronic vibra Vibrations with Love for Crypto. I love it. Advisors. Baronar. Right at the top. If you guys aren't in Axie Chat, you need to be a part of Axie Chat. You need to go purchase the Axie Chat NFTs. Tons of high quality information. In Axie Chat, if you want to invest in Axie Infinity, the Ronin Network, AXS Token, all the fun stuff that comes along with Axie. Old school gamer, video game, tabletop, sports card, anything competitive, dad jokes abound, early crypto experience, NFT gaming enthusiast, co-founder of Axie Chat and community builder, 25 plus year experience in consulting and advising private companies, political scientist, philosopher, and economist. Baron R. Our beloved Axie Chat Baronar. Coco Bear, another Axie legend. Coco Bear is a blockchain OG, community builder, and everyone's favorite NFT whale. Coco, Coco is the cornerstone of numerous notable ecosystems, and we are honored he's agreed to help guide our decision-making process. AK, we all love AK. Got to meet AK in New York for NFT NYC and the Axie meetup there, the Dave vs. Axie meetup there. That was a really great time. I was fucking wasted by the time AK showed up. He's like a mythical creature. He was there. I was wasted. He was gone. AK is one of the early trailblazers in the play-to-earn movement. 
Founded the first Axie Scholarship and has helped shape the landscape of NFT gaming as an advisor, investor, player, and community builder. He's a psychologist, economist, and proud data scientist nerd, as well as a competitive card player and avid traveler. Small Brown Doge is a blockchain and NFT investor who often step steps ahead of the market trends. SBD is a major stakeholder in projects such as Axie Infinity, Ember Sword, YGG, The Sandbox, and CyberKongs. SBD brings key insights into the tokenomics and NFTs. X1912, crypto developer, artist broker, and blockchain investor with an eye for detail. Staunch critic of everything X19 offer. X, X912, get it right. X912 offers valuable feedback on code efficiency and economic loops. And then contributor, Owl. Owl is a contributor, well known in the NFT and crypto space as a whole. Owl is an astonishing, talented developer as a majority who has majorly assisted in projects such as Urine Finance, as well as being founding member of Yield Guild Games and a council member of the Council of Kongs. Wow, I didn't know Owl was a founding member uh, and majorly assisted in projects such as Urine Finance. So that's huge. So the team is pretty robust. We'll get into the white paper later. I suggest everybody join the Discord. Check out the solarbots.io. We're going to put all the links, the pertinent links, in the description down below. We appreciate it. If you liked this video, if you got some information on solar bots, we'll also put a link to the next video as well on how you can watch us go through the white paper. I believe the next in the white paper will be going through the lore of the game, the basic background, and what solar bots are. And then the second one will go through the economics uh, of solar bots and more detail on the roadmap. So a lot more to come. Please hit the like, subscribe button. Comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, what faction you think you're going to pick. Let us know what you like about the project. And if you want to see more, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Peace.